Hello everybody, hope that you are very well and welcome to this video update where I'm going to be talking you through the long trade that I took last night on Bitcoin and how this has traded out. So I hope that you thoroughly enjoy this one and let's get straight into it. So during last night's special spontaneous live stream that I made for you all, I was talking you through the three trade options that you had as during the video we were sat at 6,900 resistance. I obviously said, you know, long is out of the question. You don't want to long into this resistance. Short is technically a good trade because of the resistance that you're at. And, you know, the third option is staying out of the market, which is always an option. Okay, and from there, we obviously did get that rejection off of the weekly once more. And we moved down to around this sort of value area for myself. And, you know, the emphasis in last night's video was that technically we were in uh, a downtrend. You know, technically speaking, all the technicals were pointing to a short position, okay, to trade this down below the lows, okay? So what were we, you know, really looking at in last night's live stream? We were obviously looking at oil that was, you know, down absolutely crazily, massively. So a massive, massive, massive drop for oil. We were also looking at the S&P 500, okay, the US stock market, which was down around 3%. We are also looking at gold, which was down around 1%. And the fact that Bitcoin was in this bear flag. Uh, which a majority are going to be looking at a bear. So obviously, as highlighted here, you know, oil down, S and P down, gold down, Bitcoin in a bear flag. You know, the majority are bearish at this moment in time. And it's not just me saying the majority are bearish with no facts to back it up. You know, you just have to come over here, look at net shorts. Shorts absolutely massively increasing. You had the swing failure, and shorts start increasing again. Obviously, I'm going to sleep around here. Okay, on this this candle, and at the time, shorts were still increasing. So, technically speaking, the the technicals are really really bearish. We're seeing, uh, you know, the greater markets bearish. Okay, we're seeing a bear flag. We're seeing shorts increasing with open interest going up. Everything is looking really bearish. So then you might say to yourself, Daniel, <laughs> why are you going to why why have you entered a long position? Obviously, I then took that long position, and you know, explaining to you where I'm going to have my stop loss and where I was looking for my uh, target. So obviously my stop loss was below this low and this is how it traded out. Okay, so if we take it off the replay, as you can see, it's already hit my take profit one, which I've adjusted this morning. Been the high of this wick, so already hit take profit one. And this is a 2% move up from the entry last night. Uh, so now I want to explain to you how, you know, what made me take this trade. Okay, well, as you'll know, 100% you need to watch last night's live stream and then you can see exactly my thought process in the moment you know as we were up at this high um so make sure you watch that if you haven't already that is obviously across on the website just last night's uh, quick up well it was, a, it was 40 minutes long so it wasn't too quick at the end but nevertheless make sure you watch that one if you haven't already uh, but yeah, obviously I was explaining about my gut feeling uh, that Bitcoin was going to take out this high and everybody that's shorting this okay is going to wake up stopped out <laughs> um so that was like my gut feeling that we would push up and take this high. Obviously, I had the uh, you know the Gartley harmonic in here as well. So I was just you know really leaning towards the fact that we would stop people out. And I really loved this comment that I received last night. Which one was it? Uh, yeah, this comment on um, you know it, all the technicals were pointing down and shorts were opening. It's obviously a perfect opportunity to squeeze. Absolutely, um, but. You have to think at the time while you are coming down here, the short squeeze has not actually, you know, there's no no reason to think you're going to short squeeze. And I must admit, yes, it is a bit of a gamble. Absolutely uh, trading a long at this level. OK, but it is really important to understand like instincts and gut feelings on this chart. OK, instincts are great. So firstly, how do you how do you get a gut feeling and an, an instinct of what's going to be happening? You know, clearly experience in the market. I think if you pull across the best technical analysis from, let's say, the US stock market, and he comes across to trade Bitcoin. My opinion is that, it, that, you know, because of all the technicals that were here, it would have been, you know, shorting this region. OK, shorting here, expecting lows of the range, because generally if you're range trading, you're expecting from the highs back down to the lows after this rejection. Um, so, you know, I do believe that <clears throat> technical analysis, good technical analysis would have shorted this. But then experience is what is absolutely key and priceless. You know, you cannot teach experience to get experience. You have to be trading this. And, you know, I do trade Bitcoin every single day. I do have the statistics and the behavior of this, like on the back of my hand sort of thing. So my gut instinct was that instead of coming back down to the lows of the range, we were going to revisit back and take up this high to basically stop as much people out as possible. Bitcoin does love to wreck the majority okay so time and time and time and time and time again we see this uh, but obviously on this pullback where do we pull back to we pull back to the champions channel we also pull back to the point of control so i did slightly have favor you know i did have a bit of favor on my side as we got this pullback hence why a long up here is very poor but as you come you know pull back to value you know the, the long does kind of open up a little bit uh, but nevertheless, uh, yeah, that was obviously the the long position that I took last night. That is how we woke up so into very nice profits. So that was very nice indeed. 
Um, yeah, and I just really wanted to emphasize in this video, really, uh, that at the end of the day, technicals are not everything. And sometimes the technicals, and sometimes this is when you get the best trades, if I'm honest, that when the technicals are pointing into one direction, and here we had everything that was pointing into a short. Everything was really looking like this weekly was very much holding up. We were seeing swift rejections. We were seeing shorts opening. We were seeing gold down stock market down got you know oil crashing bear flag a majority of the market bearish you know and sometimes when you do get technicals like this it leads into very nice trades have <laughs> to to the long side and like counter trading and this is where uh, yeah really just wanted to emphasize that at the end of the day experience is absolutely key when you get the behavior of how bitcoin reacts and trades it's just you know kind of is priceless and on top of that you know trading against the psychology so obviously we do have um you know videos in over on the on the website so make sure you watch like the most psychology videos that i've done and you know just these sort of like experiences and um yeah i think there's a lot to take away from this video update make sure you watch last night's live stream uh i'll put this one on the website for you all and um yeah how that obviously traded out and um yeah i, I think you know technically um wasn't the best long but obviously it traded out well and yeah i just wanted to one more time highlight that uh gut feeling <laughs> really really works in this market uh <laughs> and that's so i wasn't actually going to upload this video publicly to youtube but i'm going to use it as a bit of a promotion and put it on so if you are interested in having access to those bonus live streams as well as all of the educational content on the website then you can come across to chartchampions.com today click on the yes show me how and uh yes yeah, sign up and join the team and as well as having access to all the educational content, which is there, there is a lot to learn from. You also have the added benefit in the champions group of, you know, seeing my trades in real time, the reasonings why I'm taking them, and then obviously how it's trading out, uh, which I truly believe is absolutely invaluable uh, for someone, you know, that's starting off in trading. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, come across, join the team today and I'll see you inside. Thank you and have a brilliant day. Goodbye.